Transition Year 2020-2021. We decided to make a visual presentation of our TY and activities. We hope you enjoy. In September, we climbed Keeper Hill. It was a lovely warm day. The views on the way up and down were stunning, but at the top we were surrounded by fog. That was a little disappointing, but the fog was really refreshing. Later in the month, we had an induction day in the back quad. There are many activities such as soccer, wall climbing and archery tag. Many people's favourite activity was archery because we felt like Cat and Semi Bean. In October, we went orienteering Kerr Chase. It was a cold day, but that didn't really matter as we were having so much fun running around. Here is a picture of one of the winners of the soccer tournament, which also took place in October. These are the doors we decorated for Christmas. It was really fun and a great chance to be creative. We were also treated to hot chocolate for Christmas. In November, TYs were given the opportunity to open up and talk about their mental health in a workshop presented by SOAR. This brought us closer to our class and created a trust between us. In December, we went to the roller jam in Bally Simon. Our class Magone went with Mazzarillo. Some people were great at skating, but most not so much. It was great fun and many people's favorite activity. We played games such as Limbo and Ghostbusters. In May, we went foot golf in Shannon. For most of the day, it was lovely, but when it started hailing, everyone had to take cover. everyone like made the most out of what they had for what in the school i think for what we had a lot of people made the most out of it yeah okay so um what did you gain from the year uh i think i gained a lot of uh, maturity and everything from this year it kind of helped me out to realize a lot about myself would you recommend it for the younger year going in yeah i think uh, ty is a must do for people it uh, creates a fun time for you and does a lot of things for yourself and going into like the new two eyes coming in, what would be one piece of advice you would give them? Don't hold back and try to do as much as you can. Would you recommend TY to, to Chargers this year that will be coming in next year? Yeah, I definitely would recommend it. I think it's a good opportunity um, for everyone. And like after juniors out now, I think it gives you like a bit of a break instead of going straight into fifth year. So 
I would recommend it. And do you think you're ready for fifth year now that you've done TY? Yeah, I think I'm more like mature now and ready to like move on into fifth year. One piece of advice would be to give to future TYs coming in. I think I would just say uh, make the most out of the year because it is a good experience and I think while you have that like year to do like different stuff and different stuff you want to try, I think just really make the most out of it. Could you tell us what your favourite part of TY has been so far? Uh, my favourite part has to be, I suppose, team bonding with uh, people you wouldn't really talk to. And uh, I suppose uh, doing the rugby, rugby blitz is actually good as well. Uh, it was fun. And do you think you matured a lot since you started TY? Uh, small bit, yeah. And in what way did it made you mature? What activities made you um, you know, stand up to the mark? I suppose when you're TY, you're kind of in the senior side of the school and uh, people kind of trust you more things in the school. So uh, you kind of mature with that kind of thing. And what would advice would you give uh, TY coming in this year to? Uh, I suppose just like make friends with people you want to really talk to, and Aww. and uh, just look at it like it's a new kind of uh, year and new start. And are you glad you did TY? Uh, yeah. What What was your favorite and least favorite thing about being in TY? Um, my favourite thing was making new friends with people um, and my least favourite thing was the fuck off. What was your favourite activity in TY? Um, my favourite activity was probably um, the roller jam. What would you say your highlights were? Um, the highlights of TY... I liked the SOAR workshop because we got closer as a class in that workshop and we, you know, we found out some things about everybody. Like. <laughs> and the worst thing about TY this year? Um, I think the worst thing was definitely um, that we didn't get to do a show because I think that's what I was looking forward to the most. And finally, what advice would you give to future TY students? I would definitely say to talk to everybody in your class because there's a lot of people that you'd be friends with that you might not even know about. Like, So any more advice you would give to future TY students, Jay? Uh, yeah, to like put a lot into the year and like the more you get in, like, the more you put in, the more you get out of it. So, you know, yeah. And uh, also, um, like just take nothing seriously, you know. Perfect. Thanks so much, Jake. You're welcome. All right, so Ryan, um, who do you think will be most likely to become TikTok famous? Uh, honestly, Sarah Garvey. She's already making thousands of views per video. Like, I don't know how she's doing it. Like, they're not, and she's dancing in the background. Like, and she's making thousands of them. I wish somebody would have told me, babe, that someday these would be the good old days. All the love you won't forget, and all these reckless nights you won't regret. Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about What other people thought and felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out and falling in love Me, you and that futon We just begun